All right, sup friends, it's Harrison here. It's May 24th, and that means it is my one month on testosterone. So I told myself that I was gonna do monthly updates, no matter the difference, no matter anything. So this is my update. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched, or for those of you who are new to my channel, my name's Harrison Brown, and I am female to male transgender. And if you haven't watched my last video about my two week kind of mentality, please go ahead and do so because I'm gonna kind of be referring to that. And if you want a more in-depth understanding, go ahead and watch that video now and I will see you when you get back. So yeah, so one month on tea. I've documented some changes and there hasn't been much. When I was pre-tea, uh, all I was looking forward to was like my first day on tea. Like I knew I was just gonna like, as soon as it was in there, I was just gonna feel so different and everything was gonna change my whole life. My whole view was gonna be different once I just had my first shot of tea. And that was not the case. It's still not the case one month in. I still feel very much the same. And before I kind of took a step back and calmed down, it was very distressing for me and I had some very negative thoughts for the first two weeks. I even had some, I even have had like sprinkles of negative thoughts as this month has gone on. I've talked with people about it and I've talked with some friends about my feelings and I talked to you guys in my last video and I'm talking right now. But yeah, so I'm okay, things are fine. Um, I'm gonna get through this, but it has been a tough time. But I just wish I would have had more of a, a warning for the struggles that I was gonna go through once I was on testosterone. So the thing that was just distressing was I, I thought that I just put too much pressure on my body to change and I gave myself unrealistic expectations on what my body should do. My body is going through puberty right now. Anybody that's gone through puberty, everybody in their life has. Uh, I've, I've, I've been through one already, it was the wrong one, but now I'm going through the right one. Your changes don't happen overnight. It takes years to get there. Yes, my second puberty will be accelerated, but it's still not gonna be like that and uh, I just take a step back and I'm feeling a lot better my mindset's a lot better in that respect but that was a big hurdle that I had to get over through my one month journey on testosterone was just patience like the saying is like a watch kettle never boils like if you're just watching yourself in the mirror you're never gonna see yourself change uh, but yeah I limited myself I didn't really just watch myself I didn't take a, a voice note every day to see if it was changing. No, I just kind of lived my life and took the necessary documentation for my journey for, to, for you all to see and for me to look back on. Something that was very comforting for me, I got my blood test results. So I took a blood test about a week ago and I got my result back. I'm sure you're all watching this and you don't really see much difference. My voice, I don't feel, I feel like it maybe has gotten like a little deeper and my face, I feel like it's changed like a little bit, like the face shape, just very, it's just all very slight. But you always are wondering if you're doing it right, if the testosterone's even working. Like, I didn't think I would have those doubts, but I did. So I got two blood tests. I got one at the beginning, right before I started, and then I got one at my three week mark. So my first testosterone test, I was at one, which is typical for a, for a naturally born female or an AFAB. So I asked my doctor, I was like, I'm at one, so what would be, uh, cis male, what would be the typical level there? And he was like 22. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm at one, <laughs> like I'm never gonna get to 22. It's gonna take years. I was definitely wrong because my three week test, I, I'm at 21 now. So I'm doing the right things. I just gotta be patient. It's working medically, it is working. So that blood test really did help me kind of get a really nice mentality to say, I'm on the right track. I'm doing all the right things. I just have to be patient. But yeah, so that was my big, that was my biggest lesson. So for now, for the physical changes, the ones that you're all waiting for, I feel like my voice has dropped just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. I feel like it's when I'm singing and when I'm, um, when I'm talking at a low decibel, there's kind of like a vibe, there's like a little bit of a vibration. Like there's like a little bit of an extra little like, mm, I, I think I just noticed, I just noticed it like honestly, like a couple days ago uh, when I was singing like pretty loud, like I was, reaching these notes and I just heard this kind of like little like, hmm. It's hard to explain, but yeah, so that was the only thing. My throat feels a little different. Like it just feels like a little bit, a little bit hoarse some days. Some days I can't feel it, some days I can. I think I'm sweating more. <laughs> Uh, and I got a little bit more oil on my face, so I got a little bit of breakout, but not too much. I'm getting, 
a little bit of breakout on my chest and a little bit on my back, but it's not much at all. So that's great. I've got to keep up my showers and washing my face. So that's it for the physical stuff. And now like muscle and endurance and, and things like that. So I just went back into my regimen for my working out. So that could be a correlation of this, but I feel like my muscles are bigger. Some people have said that they've noticed that my arms are getting a little bit bigger, which could correlate with the workouts that I'm doing, but it's, I feel like it's happening faster. So I've only been working out for about a month now and I feel, I feel good. I feel really good. My endurance, I feel like it's, it's better. Like the, my, I do like bike sessions. I do a little bit of running. I feel like I can do that for longer, which is a huge plus. Okay. So this, I want this channel to be as real and raw as it is, as it can be. So I'm about to talk about something that's a little bit not safe for work. NFC. <laughs> NSFW, I guess. Um, so if you know me and you don't want to hear something a little bit intimate, then please click off and I'll see you next time. So the first change that I noticed was my bottom growth, which is, I'm about to use like some terminology. I've never talked about this on my channel. I'm not sure if I'll keep this in, but I, I want to document this. So I, my, area my i hate these words like i hate these words but my clit has gotten significantly bigger i've heard this from a bunch of guys but like you can get anywhere from like one inch to three inches and mine has gotten probably about an inch now which is i feel like that's pretty quick like i knew it was going to happen but i didn't realize how fast it was going to happen so that was the first thing I noticed in the first week even. I was, it felt like uncomfortable while I was wearing like jeans and stuff. I definitely have to do some readjusting when I'm wearing jeans and like tighter pants that I never really have had to deal with. So that was like an interesting change. But yeah, so that really kind of is that. But oh, and then also for some reason, I don't know why, but testosterone is making me wake up early. I, I'm, I've never been a morning person. I've always kind of like gone to bed late, woke, woken up later uh, in the day, like like 9.30, like 10 is when I usually used to wake up. Now I'm like waking up at 7.30 or eight and it's really weird. I can't go back to bed. Like I just, I'm just ready for the day. So I think that testosterone is helping with that too, which is, which is great. I got a couple more hours in my day. Yeah, I just feel like a little bit, I feel like a little bit more energized to, take on my day with testosterone. So, but yeah, so that's it pretty much for the changes. I know like one month updates aren't usually very exciting, but it's exciting for me. Yeah, I'm obviously eager for more changes and I can't wait to see what the future has in store, but one month down, my whole life to go and that's exciting for me. So anyways, I'm gonna roll some pictures, some comparison pictures of my body, my face. There's probably not gonna be too much change, but thought I just, I took the pictures, so I might as well show you guys. Um, Hi, my name is Harrison McCutcheon Brown, and this is my voice one day on testosterone. Hi, my name is Harrison McCutcheon Brown, and this is my voice one day on testosterone. Damn it! <laughs> my name is Harrison McCutcheon Brown, and this is my voice one month on testosterone. Um, but anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments or anything if you want. I'm not that far on testosterone, but I feel like I know a little bit. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow any of my social medias, they're down below and I will see you next time. All right, take care. All right, I almost forgot. So I want to record my singing. I'm going to be doing a full song later. Thank you, Mac, for giving me that idea, uh, but I'm going to be doing that too. Thanks. <laughs> There's some guys that do like poems or there's some guys that just go like, hi, my name is this, this is my voice, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be doing that too, but I kind of want to do something a little bit more fun as well. So my favorite song to belt is Carry On My Wayward Son. So I'm just gonna be doing like a little bit of it and seeing if I can still like maintain those high notes because that's a really high song. So here we go. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest Don't you cry no more Oh!